10316 KWWF Radio with Attitude. Welcome to your news program. You can handle the truth. The filtrations and betrayals among internet giants would steam up even the hottest afternoon soap opera. In the latest round, the news corporation which had been playing footsie with Yahoo has jumped into the arms of Microsoft in an effort to break up the pending union of Yahoo and Time Warner's estranged wife AOL. Oh yes, Google, which everyone envies, is prodging all these on to keep its rivals in a state of confusion. What does all this mean? It shows that Jeff Bilks, the chief executive of Time Warner, is now more open to leaving AOL than in the past. Yes, Time Warner needs an internet play, but 20% of a combined Yahoo AOL Frankly, the best deal of the bunch would be for News Corporation to buy AOL from Time Warner that merges a portal, instant messaging system, and social network together. The integration would be easier. Now, the political section with Juan Carrera. Senator John McCain, who thought he had an agreement with Senator Barack Obama that they would both accept public financing in the faced each other in the November election, called Friday for Mr. Obama to keep his word. I committed with Republican nominee. I will take public financing. Keep your word to the American people. He's always talking in his speeches about how we need to keep our word to the American people. Please keep your word to the American people on the commitment you made in writing. Mr. McCain say Friday that is Mr. Obama opts out of the system. Then obviously then we will do examine the option as to whether to take it or not. Mr. McCain has alleged the Democrats is fundraising for open civility. With some other desires says likely that he will set public financing even if Mr. Obama does not. His campaign recently began returning contributions that have been designated for the general election, asking the donors instead to contribute to a special fund that will not be subject to the public financing limits. Mr. McCain initially solved the, the funds which come with their own spending limits. After his campaign nearly ran out of money, his campaign took. The McCain campaign denies that he made that promise. On April 5th, 2009, Houston, Texas, will host a milestone event, a quarter century in the making. Next year, the Silver Anniversary. WrestleMania 25 is coming to Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas, especially WrestleMania. Thank you, Juan. Yesterday, a man was hit by a bus on Garazada Avenue. In other news, a man, his wife and son were murdered a few nights ago. There are beliefs that the man was a drug dealer. And now we go live to the studio of ESPN The Ocho with Olivier. In a desperate move, Hugo Sanchez turned off the Olympic torch. Now a word from Sanchez. Macho, si no hay olimpiadas para los mexicanos, no hay olimpiadas para nadie. Joder, tío. In our information, Mexico is now the world champion of Matatena International Tournament. Ana Guevara has been now officially recognized as a man. Mama. Tigres and Monterrey are expected to win their matches this weekend. Dodgeball is sponsored by ESPN The Ocho. Now back to you, Hidalgo, with the weather forecast.
today the sun will be happy because it will be a sunny day, but watch out, there is a high probability of raining during the night. And tomorrow and the next week, I don't know. Keep listening KWWF for more information. Michael Jackson is black again. Fama. George W. Bush has declared in an official meeting he is gay. Fama. Felipe Calderón declares he is not gay, but he likes to play with George W. Bush. Fama. Luis Miguel is now bald. Fama. Britney Spears declares that she's a still virgin. Fama. Brad Pitt declares that Angelina Jolie abuses of him. Fama. Latin Lover has declared that his butt has silicon implants. Fama. Breaking news. We have just received the notice that Michael Jackson is white again. Fama. Welcome to a new section, Cooking with Carlos. Today we are going to cook eggs. Thank you, Carlos. And now, it is time for our weekly top 10. 